All right, now we did it. We locked in. We locked in. My dearest Sharas, today, in the presence of God and our loved ones, I stand before you with a heart overflowing with love and gratitude. As I look into your eyes, I am reminded of the countless reasons why I am deeply in love with you. Today, I vow to cherish and honor you for all the days of our lives. Ah, it feels good to touch you at least. Yeah. yeah. How are you? Good. good. You you are? Yeah. Alright, good, good. I'm happy about that. It is. And oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for this day that you have brought us together. Despite everything that might be going on, Lord, it, this day is for you. And as we unionize ourselves under your witness and under the witness of our family and friends, we want to thank you for bringing us this far. Lord, I am so thankful that you have allowed me to marry this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful young woman. And I promise to protect her, to cherish her, to honor her and respect her. I didn't call you by name, but I described your soul. God outdid himself. My mom always said, My mom always said, find someone with a good heart, who is kind and has shared values. And that's exactly how our connection began. We connected over our love for God and family and music and HBCUs. <laughs> and you're not just kind, you're also gentle, supportive, understanding, thoughtful, affectionate, sincere, strong and handsome. <laughs> Stunning, stunning, stunning. Your dogs look really nice. Yeah. <laughs> the ancestors are proud. Thank you. Good you morning. feel good? Yeah, I feel, yeah, I'm yeah. just in time. <laughs> Everything is gone. Yeah. That's nice, I like that. Uh, yeah, thank you. All right, well, you gotta walk you me down. You thank great. you. You gonna keep it up like that? Uh, I'm gonna keep it up like this for the ceremony and I'll take it down. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. looks nice. Just for that. <laughs> this is nice, wow, okay. I know, this is lovely. That's impressive. I vow to support you wholeheartedly in your endeavors, to stand by your side as you pursue your passions, and to be your biggest cheerleader in life. I cheerlead, y'all. All right? I'm, a, I'm the first cheerleader of the period, doctor. <laughs> as we embark on this lifelong commitment, I make this solemn vow to you. I choose you. Each and every day, I will honor you, I will respect you, not just with my words, but with my actions. My love for you is steadfast. It belongs to you and you alone. With you by my side, my life feels complete. And I will forever be grateful for the love that we share. I love you, Shars. Stop, won't quit. 
On behalf of Zach and Char, I just wanted to say we appreciate your presence here. We can't celebrate without you all here. And um, when I look around the room, I don't see two separate groups of friends. I don't see two separate families, but I see a village. I see a village that is bound together by the mutual love that we have for Zach and Charis. Promise to be the best wife to you. And mother to our future children, modeling the beautiful examples that we have had in both of our lives. I promise to never, ever give up on us. And to always remember if God be for us, who can be against us? I promise to love you with my whole heart, mind, body, and soul. From this day forward, forever and ever, till death goes by. Oh my gosh. Reaching higher, always up. Keep climbing until we're on top. Leave the shadows below. By virtue of the authority that is vested in me as a minister of the Word of God and by the laws of the state of Georgia, I pronounce <laughs> that they are husband. And wife, in the name of the Father, <laughs> and of the Son, and of the Blessed Holy Ghost, Amen. Amen. At this time, you may now kiss your brother. And as I compare the characteristics that you have and Zach has, like, there's three key characteristics that I believe you guys have in common and I think it's going to be the foundation of your marriage and, and your future. And number one, it's faith in the Lord. Number two is the unconditional love of family. And number three is the sincere interest in exploration, travel, lifelong learning, and living a full life. May the fragrance of the Holy Spirit permeate your love, your home, and your lives like a sweet perfume. We pray that y'all's love is a representation of the relentless love of God. And much like he will never stop fighting for our love, we pray that you all will never stop fighting for the love of each other. So we love you. Happy. So welcome to the family, Zach, our brother-in-law. We love you. Happy wedding day. Okay. Okay. We love you all so much. I knew this day was coming. He got in that accident. Um, he told me what Charis did for him, and I said, you need to lock that up. <laughs> As you can see, he did. Z, I am a guardian to your union. I am a protector of your children. I am a protector of your wife. When, I, when, you, when you acknowledge me as your best man, it doesn't mean, like I said earlier, I'm your best friend. It means that you know when the chips are down, I'm going to charge you with every single word that you said out there tonight. I'm going to make sure you are a man of your word. Because as black men, we hold each other accountable. I love you, my dog.